Hey, what's going on guys? This is KDK Kill Dyke and welcome back to the channel. So we've been doing a lot of PlayStation 2 emulation here on the channel with the Raspberry Pi 5 on Supreme Ultra. And so I figured this would be a great time to show you the good along with the bad. So I did have a free request for a couple of different games. Uh, the first game we're gonna take a look at is NFL Pro Hits. Uh, this one was very challenging. And for the most part, a lot of the PlayStation 2 games in emulation that are kind of open world, like let's say a football field or a uh, NASCAR racetrack, they're very difficult to emulate uh, because of all the different textures going on in the background and so forth. And so, as you can see here in this first clip, uh, we have the, the, the football field, uh, it's kind of raining out there. And so you have all these different textures. You have the football field, you have all these different characters, you have the uh, crowd in the background. And so some of these games, and, and particularly this one, didn't run too bad. I could probably make a few tweaks or adjustments to it there's a little bit of slowdown, but for the most part, sometimes you'll see the uh, video clips. Those are run fine. There's a little slowdown during gameplay. Uh, depends on when the camera angles, if it, uh, if the camera angle is moving uh, in a, a wide format where it captures the players as well as the people in the background, then you'll start to see a little bit of the slowdown. But for the most part, when the camera is only focused in on the characters, sometimes it'll be a little bit fine. And you guys will see that in uh, some of the other NHL games uh, that we do have to play. Uh, this video is going to, I'm just going to let the video play, kind of go through some of the clips as we see it. And I'll narrate uh, some of the things that I did experience, but definitely wanted to show you guys some of the good along with the bad. I know a lot of you are happy with the improvements that I've made to the Ether emulator and getting a lot of these games to play but unfortunately some of them just have some hiccups and some of them have some adjustments that need to be made that uh, not even i'm fully aware of i haven't been through the entire emulator i've made uh, adjustments here and there as best as i could but uh, all in all a lot some of these games will play much better even on the orange pi 5 so uh, i do know that i do have a review plan on later on at the end of this month maybe the beginning of february kind of going through the full thing that might be about two or three hours uh, for the most part, but I uh, just wanted to, for you guys to see some of this progress. Some of it will apply to the Orange Pi 5, and a lot of it obviously will apply to the Raspberry Pi 5 as well. All right, so the next game we have listed here is NHL Pro Hits. So as you can see, the video is running pretty good. No hiccups there. And a lot of the gameplay in terms of running 100% full speed is consistent for the most part uh, when you have the video uh, game, uh, the video menu, as well as going into the direct menu of the game itself. It's pretty much fine, but when we actually get to the gameplay, that's when you'll start to see some of these issues uh, occur. All right, we're all good here in the menu. Everything is looking great. There's no sound stuttering. Everything's running pretty fluidly. And in fact, some of these are actually running faster than 60 frames per second. All right, so now you'll start to see the performance hitting the game. Fine here on the pause menu. I think at this point I had to start the game all over because I ran into an error. I was doing tinkering around, so I was trying to see if I could uh, make it run a little bit faster. So I just decided to go ahead and reset the game at that point. But you know, as you can hear from the audio, it, there'll be some dips. Sometimes it'll speed up, sometimes it'll slow down. Uh, NHL Hits Pro is 
a, a really good example of PlayStation 2 emulation on how things can either go very well, even if you have your settings or you think you have your settings where they need to be, and then all of a sudden uh, it could just go to crap in just a mere second. But I do believe I played this game on the Orange Pi 5. I know I, there was a NHL game that I played on the Orange Pi 5 with RetroPie using the Supreme Ultra Pie Resurrection build. And I do believe this game pretty much ran at full speed without any hiccups or issues. All right, you can see there's a little bit of slowdown here. Seems fine. Does it see? So that's a perfect example when camera angles right on the main action of the players. Then when you start to see, you get these little wide angle views of all the textures and the uh, different people in the background and the crowds. You can start to see the game really start to stutter a little bit. And to think this isn't even one of the worst games. This is probably one of the better, harder to run games and emulate here on the Raspberry Pi 5. I can possibly clean up the sound a little bit, so that's not a big issue there. All right, see, I think a lot of this is actually in-game video, so that's why it's running okay. We're gonna be okay here. And they drop the plug down, we'll be good. And then after this is where everything kind of goes to crap. You can tell the performance really takes a hit here when the camera angles up high. Just focusing in on all the textures, all the players got that wide angle view there. The audio is totally dropped. So you can see the difficulty in trying to get emulation working on the Raspberry Pi 5 or single board computers with PlayStation 2 emulation. Uh, you know, typically as image makers when people are making a build, you know, you play the game for about maybe 30 seconds or whatever the case might be and you're like, okay, we're dialed in, it's good to go. Alright, you can see it's fine now, the sound is where it needs to be, the gameplay is at 100%, it's fine here. All right, and then there you can see it takes a crap again. So again, with PlayStation 2 emulation, it's not one of those things where you could just uh, apply one setting and think one setting is going to fit all for all the games. I mean, again, there's 4,000 games in the PlayStation uh, 2 library. And then for the most part, you pretty much have to play the games for a lengthy period of time to know if the emulation is working correctly. So uh, it's not a ROM set where you just kind of put together and think everything is just going to be okay. Because there are many major hiccups. In fact, in some of the games, if, uh, for example, Time Crisis 2, I encountered an error where if I shoot certain crates or bells, it could totally slow the game down to about one frame uh, per second. But you would only know that if you truly go as far into the game as humanly possible. It's, uh, I had someone uh, in the, one of the comments or the groups the other day think that N64 creation ROM sets were a lot easier than PlayStation 2, and absolutely not. It's a totally different beast, because even with N64, you can kind of set the emulator where it needs to be, and you're kind of good for most of the games, but with each one of these, you have to know what the settings are individually to make sure that you have a good ROM set. All right, the next game that we're going to move on to is True Crimes. I believe this is the New York version. And for the most part, it runs at about anywhere between uh, 80 to 100 uh, percent as far as the video frames per second. However, this is a very unique set for the game, and I've encountered this for a number of issues uh, or some of the particular games. And um, I figured I'd toss this one in here because obviously it was requested, but I wanted to show you guys uh, this is the perfect example of how a game can look like it runs good and then goes to crap and then it even goes 
uh, much worse than that where it makes you question all reality. And I know if a couple of the other guys have gotten super frustrated with PlayStation 2 emulation that they kind of gave it up on the Pi 5 or the Raspberry Pi 5 uh, because some of these issues aren't exactly present on the Orange Pi 5 either. So you guys will see that here in a couple of the clips, but right now you're looking at a video of the end game. This isn't actually gameplay, but uh, frame rate for the most part is kind of consistent, but there's a lot of hit and misses, which you guys will see here in just a few moments. All right, now you guys are starting to see some of the slowdown and performance hits. This is actual in-game play. This isn't part of the video. And it's taken me a little while to kind of figure out some of the controls here while we go along. And if you look down there at the bottom, we are in OpenGL. So typically we're using Vulkan or whatnot, so I decided to switch this over to OpenGL to see if it would give me better performance. And what's really surprising to me about the performance of this right now is we're actually indoors. So we're not outside the open world. And so I'm really surprised that the frame rates aren't a little bit better. Um, I could possibly do some other things in order to kind of clear it up, but uh, for the most part, this was just uh, an initial kind of plug and play setting just to give you guys an idea about what the game is. And by the way, I've never played this game before, so this is all brand new to me. Looks like we got some ladies in here. They're gonna run out. Don't worry, I'm gonna get one. Of them. Now here comes the drastic slowdown. I mean, this is a little expected. We're again out here in the open world. So you can see how everything just kind of drops here and there. This is gonna be a very difficult game uh, to get the settings on. All right, I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. And we're coming up to where everything kind of goes to crap here. I mean, this is uh, one of the major areas you can encounter. So as you can see, uh, we're not in the open world, so to speak. And as soon as I get down here, the game kind of drops all the way down to six frames per second. And I'm not exactly sure uh, what causes this. So uh, that's pretty much it in terms of the, the performance is where some of these games are. I don't think there's anything else I can really do to fix that. I did apply some of my fixes uh, in regards to this emulation video. Some of the other fixes that you guys have seen in the, some of the other videos are applied here. And so these games are gonna be very challenging in order to get them up uh, emulating to run. But however, they do run a little bit better on the Orange Pi 5 uh, using the RetroPie front end. So um, I will come back with some other additional videos. I do have some other Raspberry Pi tutorials uh, in general that will help you guys get a better understanding. Um, I have been maintaining cooling uh, watching my heat, I actually turned my fan off just to kind of get a better idea about how what some of these emulators will, or games would run uh, with the active cooler uh, using my case or setup that I do have. So uh, most of my attempts, I'll explain that a little bit further video. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase just to give you a better idea and understanding as to how difficult it is to get some of these playstation 2 games to run again i'm over about 760 now in terms of games uh the file sizes are humongous i mean these things are freaking large 
uh, even with my 500 gigabyte build. But uh, yeah, just wanted to keep you guys updated, showcase, and you know, let you guys know how difficult it is to run some of these games. One setting does not apply all. You kind of, you gotta kind of play some of these games all the way through to get a good feel about all the different uh, environments and textures that you will encounter. So you can kind of set the best possible setting for overall gameplay. So with that being said, please consider liking and subscribing. Make sure you guys check out some of the Facebook groups. Hit the notification bell because I do post randomly. I may go live uh, eventually here in the next couple of weeks or so to kind of go over for some additional uh, updates as well, but I hope you guys all have a great evening and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Have a